Hello, my dear friends, my dear audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Chuck Chow hosting it with lots of pride for many, many years. I take this as a classroom, and also, of course, this is a quite a privilege that I have the opportunity of meeting all kinds of people, people of all walks, old and young, men, women, all right,、uh, including our promising young man and young woman. Today, one of them is a new friend. Uh, thanks to my intern、uh, Sophie, she made the、uh, connection, and I have now the pleasure of being visited by a young producer. Her name is Olina Wang. Am I right? Yeah, that's Olina right. Olina Wang, and she's from、uh, Halo Film and a young, promising filmmaker. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good, 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 good. good.、Uh, I did a little homework about this wonderful young woman, and she has a, a lot of、uh, credit, which is、uh, not equivalent to her age, much more. I mean, right? And、uh, with lots of films, such as more than twenty and some major productions, and so on and so forth. I would like to、uh, leave this to introduction part to you yourself. Will you? Will will you do it? Yeah, so I'm gonna to introduce a little bit of myself. My、mm. name is Olina. I originally come from China. So、mm. when I was China in college,、where? China in Dalian. Oh, Dalian. Yeah. All right. Not、I、a lot of people、care. know that city. Of course.、Though. And you know where I was born? Where? Dalian. Oh, seriously? <laughs> seriously. Oh, who time? Oh, we、God. are really all right. Good, right? Like close. We're、right, neighbors. We exchange, exchange a little kind of a hometown language. And our mother town. Okay, that that proves that we are from the same town. Okay, go ahead. It's so hard to meet my、so、hard to imagine, <laughs> the people、right? from my hometown. Okay, good.、Mm -hmm. So I went to Japan to learn animation、mm -hmm. when I was in my college, and then come here to study filmmaking, a、uh, major in producing here.、Mm -hmm. So during the past, what school years, did you go here? I went to New York Film Academy. Ah, New York a, Film Academy.、Yeah. Okay, the、good. campus is in Los Angeles, which is a nice school. So it teach、mm -hmm. me how to do some、mm -hmm. hands-on practicing. I see. Yeah, because I see. of my school and a lot of my awesome teachers,、mm -hmm. I can start doing production work when I was in school, doing some short films. We made、mm -hmm. a lot of short films, went to a lot of festivals, official、mm -hmm. selection, or win some award. After that, I just jumped into feature films. Like we did four feature films last year, and some of them already released in China in 2017 in、ah, some online platforms. I see. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah. Also, we also、mm -hmm. talking about some. Theatrical feature films. One film is going to be released in China this year. I see. I、yeah. see. All right. Very good. Sounds very interesting, and I feel it's more enticing when you moved yourself from、uh, short to、uh, feature length films、yeah. and fiction, so to speak. I like fiction films myself as a screenwriter, so、nice. we're talking about the same area that you、yeah. and I both are interested. Obviously, you are more. You made a more achievement than I do. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, good. About the four major productions, what are they? So one of the most of them, they are feature length web movies. You know, like web movies. Web they movies, are, yeah, okay. Yeah, really popular in China、uh -huh. right now. So it gave the young people a more opportunities to make their own films and、mm. got a chance to distribute in, like, to face to more audience. So I think、mm. it's a great opportunity because. We used to make feature-length films in theater, but it's、mm. you know it's really hard to get distribution in theater. So、mm. this kind of new new format gave us more opportunities、mm, to show our work to more audience. Okay,、nice. uh, educate me in this whole area because I'm maybe too young for that already.、Uh, I could understand about the box office when、mm -hmm. you、uh, distribute it in through theater systems, right? Yeah. But talking about the website, the web film feature、yep. length, especially feature length.、Mm -hmm. So where do you get paid? So actually, there are a lot of Chinese companies、mm -hmm. who are interested in making some new movies. So、mm -hmm. they have this kind of money; they want to invest maybe ten、mm -hmm. movies.、Mm -hmm. So they are interested in our content, our story. So、mm -hmm. they give us the money; we help them to produce it. We do、uh -huh. the creative side,、uh -huh. both the production side,、I、and、see. we did the movie here in Los Angeles,、mm -hmm. and then. 
the whole product is going to be released in China. They do the marketing side, promotion side, but we basically take care of the production. And side. how do they make money? Mm, actually, it's a little bit interesting because they are ha they're having a contract with the platform. Mm -hmm. So the platform, they have the membership like Hulu or Netflix here, but in China, it's more like Tencent, ICE, Sohu, something like that. Mm -hmm. So by the clicking rate, for example, if I'm a member, I pay maybe 15 RMB a month mm -hmm. to watch the whole website. A lot of movies, original mm -hmm. content I can see. Mm -hmm. So by clicking once, the platform can get a certain kind of money. And then they talk about, there are four different levels. By talking about the contract, we can share different shares. It's a circulation the share, right? Yeah. It's a circulation right. share. By circulating, uh, with the member fees mm -hmm. and the members dues, yeah. they get paid yeah. and they cut they cut the chase. I yes. mean, they, they cut the the pie amongst themselves. Yeah, right. Totally. Very good. All right. Some 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 new philosophy to understand. Uh, I am a more uh, interested in the concept of mm -hmm. uh, nowadays filmmakers. Look at the faces. We 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 do not need to ask that we belong to mm -hmm. different generations. And speaking of a different generation, there are gaps, right? There are yeah. at least one yeah. gap. Right? So if you would call it, it may be the age gap, or if not, the generation gap. Mm -hmm. So most of the cases, they are generation gaps. Speaking of a generation gap, there are lots of films that I could not understand, but my son enjoys like hell. And there's right? that. So, and I have two sons. My elder son might say, okay, so-so, and my younger son kind of like, uh, he will give away anything to do it, okay? So what makes a difference? What makes the generation gap in tasting? I mean, for me, mm -hmm. the most important thing is because the development of internet. Because, mm -hmm. for example, Jack, in your generation, internet is just kind of nothing, there's no internet. But mm -hmm. in our generation, it's booming. For example, I born in two 1992. So I got my first laptop, not laptop, computer, in 1998. So when I was young, I started to learn more about internet mm -hmm. and computer. Mm -hmm. So just like right now, there are a lot of new media content that coming from online. So the young people, it's more easy to accept the mm -hmm. fact of mm -hmm. watching things from the internet or okay, new media, okay. uh -huh. but maybe at your generation, you prefer to go to the theater or like back to mm -hmm. 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. there's a area you can watch a movie mm -hmm. on in a yard with a lot of people, yeah, with yeah, a lot of, of audience, yeah, yeah. there's a screen like the, in the middle. Uh, uh -huh. In the open, yes. In the open, yeah. In the open. Uh, of course, we're talking about if in the open or in a theater, or in a high class, high standard theater, even their chair rocks like yep. that kind. And of course, moving to the website, people, young people enjoy their computer screens or even cell phones like that. Those are the change of yep. the of the intermediates, mm -hmm. right? In other words, through which do they watch films? I'm talking about the film themselves, yeah. right? The film. As a, as, a, as a way of telling stories, how come some, fil some films they enjoy, some, fil some films they don't, okay? So to your generation, what's your taste? For me, I like, for me, because I went to Japan, I like animation, I mm. like to see some new things, maybe combination with animation or pop culture, mm -hmm. something like, in front of this, mm. maybe I shouldn't say that, just like... Well, feel free to say anything. You're talking about a fast-moving stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast-moving, like, so mm -hmm. more visual mm -hmm. stuff, more, more direct visual, to the eye, yeah, direct. more direct to the eye, mm -hmm. with the less usage of brain. Am I saying that? Right? Yeah, something similar. And also for me, I like mm. to see some visual effect. Mm -hmm. Also, virtual rea reality is booming. I want mm. to see some thing with more high technology. I see. Including the story, including the technology, I can combine both and see a movie with both of sides. Uh -huh, I see, I see. And uh, well, anyway, I uh, don't have to ask your age, 
And by looking, by hearing you talk, I probably could do my guess very right? great. My speculation is that you are kind of not exactly among the group B, uh, from among the group of the uh, 1822, 25 year range. You're kind of a little older than that. And you do want to do some uh, kind of thinking rather than direct eye uh, contact, direct spect spectacular caught that way, right? Okay, now, mm -hmm. so to you, I believe, so you are a filmmaker yourself, well trained by yourself by doing it and well educated in school. And you know more theoretically about how we do films, right? So my question is that today, when you're done, well, nowadays when you look at films, I give you an example. Have you watched The Great Wall? I wanted to, but you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, but I haven't. You haven't, right? Yeah, a okay. lot of my friends talking about it. Though. Oh, I see, I see. How about if I buy, I buy your ticket, you watch it, all right? I'd love and later, to. <laughs> and later, and then later, if you like it, you pay yourself. Yeah. If you say I don't like it. And I'll cover you. How about that? that I'll, I'll get your ticket free. <laughs> that sounds perfect, right? I tell you the truth. I went. I went to it. Oh yeah. In order to get to the most extent, I uh, selectively saw the the three D ones. There are two versions: yeah. regular version, traditional version, and the three D high tech version. I chose that one, and I sat there. It was a torture to me. It's not an eye torture only, but a brain torture. Mm -hmm. To me, or people like me, my generation, when I see film, I want to see a story. I want to see a story. And uh, if you try to peel off the visual effect, the special effect, all right, the 3D effect, there's no story line, almost none left. So that is what I'm bothered, bothered about. Mm -hmm. There's a whole thing. So to you, your generation, suppose you have the time to watch that film as a, uh, as a test. Yeah. Now, do we have any common grounds or do we uh, have no common ground at all? I totally agree with you. Because you do? I don't mean to offense director John Imo because we went to a summit before. He's a really nice mm, person. Mm, He's a great director. I know, I know, yeah. But I, I mean, personally know him uh, yeah. too. But uh, I'm talking about film, film, yeah. film, film, right? Yeah. Okay, so okay. talking about this film, I also agree the story is kind of not okay. But I think the bigger problem for me is the casting, because I was in China during the time this this film was released in China. So a lot of my friends, even my parents. They want to see this movie mm -hmm. because they want to know how China can combine with Hollywood to make the first real mm -hmm. U.S. China co-productions. Mm -hmm. But the result is not really good okay, because very good. I uh -huh. think I'm from like a, a little bit bigger city. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay, But okay. the second oh, yeah, layer so, yeah. cities, mm -hmm. second or third layer cities, they don't know who is Matt Damon. They don't really care. They're just curious mm -hmm. why I need to see a foreigner in a Chinese movie. It's mm -hmm. a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of my friends here, they went to theater, they see this movie, they think, I don't know about the Chinese cast. Why I need to go there and watch this movie? There's no point. Okay, I very think good. That's the biggest Thank issue. you very much. For, thank you very much. I'm uh, very excited to hear a comment from this very super young lady that I seem to see some common ground. Today with me is my new friend, Alina Wang. She is a uh, rising star in this whole area. Like I said, this show has a burden to promote our future. Okay, whoever I like, see a window that sounds like a future, so, uh, we decide to promote. Okay, now let's take a very short moment out. When we come back from that point on, let's pick up one or two or three examples to indicate what we're talking about, to indicate even the, even the generation gap, to indicate even within the generation gap, we still have common ground. So stay with us.
Hello, dear friends, my dear, lovely fellow Americans. Welcome back to the show. Name is Jack Chow with the East West Show for many years. During the past years, me and my crew try every time when chances allow, we try to steal some information, put it here to let our audiences educated, at least informed. Today we're talking about our young people in the film area. For example, we have Oliva Olina Wen. Now she is a rising star in the whole area. The way I look at her homework, and the way I look at her credentials, and her nowadays, I mean the current involvement of all、uh, the major release subject to 2017. Those are wonderful stuff. That's why I have her invited to come here to talk about her、uh, great job.、Uh, in talking, I try to locate、uh, in recognition of、uh, even if with the recognition said that、uh, we have a gap, generation gap or age gap, whatever. There is still or there is not common ground to be found. It sounds that we start to fill a little common ground. We'll go from right there. Right now, for Great Wall, later on I can tell you why I dislike that much.、Uh, probably we shall pick another example to dissect it. Right. So,、uh, have you seen Avatar? Yeah, I saw、okay. that movie.、It's、okay,、great. you saw it. How? What's your total impression? First of all, I was really impressed. Of the technology, you mean impressed? Im- impressive、uh-huh. of the technology. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, secondly, I was deeply into that story because it talks about the、uh, some common thing all over the world, no matter what country you're coming from. It's about protecting our home homeland.、Mm. So it's really like deep into my heart. I see. Okay, let me tell you、uh, a little, sister. Okay, making a film is different from a, from a launching a rocket. You launch a rocket to the moon, to Mars, to whatever, right? It may be a splendid scene, splendid, super splendid scene with a huge boom, with a countdown. There goes a something we call a rocket.、Yeah. The object goes to the sky, goes on and on, and yet in the very split of a moment, very fraction of a moment, there are zillions of.、Uh, High tech involved, right?、Yeah. Only concentrated into that few seconds, like that. And there is no storyline. Doesn't have to be story.、Mm-hmm. It's one boom goes. That's it.、Yeah. Right? There's no story.、Right. Okay. Making film is not like that. Right?、Um, technology, whatever, may help. Help or only help. Like say you have a helper to your house. She cleans your house. She is never the master of the house. Am I right? The master of the house are the husband and the wives. Okay. Now, for films, we're talking about the same thing. You have to have a story. Okay. Now, a test could be could be okay here if you peel off once again the high tech part, all right? The special effect part, the sound effect part, so on and so forth. All right. What storylines are there? There is no story left,、yeah. and the same thing happens with Great Wall. Like I said, I will explain to you later on why I dislike it. It is that you peel everything off. There is no story left. A bunch of people being invaded by an animal called Tao Tie. I'm a Chinese, so I was born in China. I don't even not know Tao Tie is. I only know the, the those two words from one of the proverbs. That's it. Okay. And then first they 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 didn't know how to win, and then with some foreigner help they they won. That's it. There is no zigzag, no twists, no turns. In films we're talking about twists and turns. Yeah. Right. In films we're talking about surprises, not the special effect surprises. Wow, there is something、mm-hmm. right in front. That's not a surprise. Yeah. I'm talking about mental surprise.、Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. There is not. Totally. So that is the failure. Okay. Now, if this. If this is brought into class amongst you young people in class, will you will that be accepted? In other words, could I get agreement? 
I think you are totally right because the story is the key point. Everybody is looking for great stories. I don't think the special effect or any kind of technology can be added on beyond the story because the story is the element, it's the foundation. That's what I think is correct. So I think, uh -huh. yeah, if even in our school, if you're talking about give a lecture about how the story works in film industry, I think everybody will agree that because everybody is looking for a real really interesting story to mm -hmm. develop. That's the point. But I mean, a little bit, some people will go further because, for example, the story may be not good, but the investors, they like to see very cool effect or something. Mm -hmm. That makes them to go further. But I believe all the filmmakers, they believe in true story. They want to tell the story. Very good, very good. I really appreciate any young people who share the same philosophy with me, oh. with, with an old timer, who is yeah. almost <laughs> almost done with his time anyway. Uh, that's the exciting part. Get back to the very point. If you do a commercial, like 30 seconds, mm -hmm. do you need a story? You do. You do. Right? Yeah. You do, you right? Need it. If you do a radio commercial, do you need a story? You do. Yeah. Right? You see McDonald advertising on the billboard, it has story there. Mm -hmm. Everything has to have a story. Yeah. It is a story that carry the message that flies, right? It's not a tech show. In downtown Los Angeles, you go to the convention, there are lots of tech shows, mm -hmm. right? If it's a tech show, it's okay, right? A tech show, tech show, tech show. Even the tech show, you have some kind of beautiful slim girl standing by there, yeah. right? Okay, now, to spice it up, that's it. So, for, my question is, which bothers me is, I believe, I believe those filmmakers, the big ones, as big as Mr. Zhang Yimo, they know more than I do, than you do. Yeah. Okay, they know the, the storyline as the foundation, like you said, the foundation of the film. Why would this still happen? Is this the way that they put it, a, they take it as a moment to display film technology, so they did it? Or is it they are pushed by money? Say, do this, here's the money. I believe Which will be more true, please? Definitely, I would say <laughs> money is, <laughs> okay. is the, the, the reason you mm are forced to do something you don't want to do. Because um, I met a lot of people, they're doing independent movies, but they cannot, they cannot like make money. And they, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, a they lot die, of my friends, they die, yeah, yeah, they, and die. they drive Uber and right, okay. on their, mm -hmm. maybe at night, and they mm -hmm. go to work as a crew for film mm -hmm. during the day. It's mm -hmm. kind of hard. And yesterday I went to a mixer, it's like Hollywood China mixer or something. A lot mm -hmm. of people, they have stories, they are directors, talented cinematographers, mm -hmm. but they are looking for the money. So yeah. I think it's you're tough. Right. You're it's right, tough. you're right. And next question is that, okay, now, if it is a money driven market, yeah. we confirm it, okay, it is money driven. Unfortunately, it is money driven, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now, for director, whoever, Okay, X, Y, Z, they are money driven because they don't want to starve to death, right? So they took the money and they did things they wanted to do. I'm talking about why would the guy with the money mm -hmm. would choose that way, All right? If, if it happens with a guy with a set of brain, set of mind like you have, I have, I'll use the money I'll use the money the different way. Say, hey, here's the money, do a Euro film with the Alina way. All right? Mm -hmm. And then the, that would be a huge, a significant change yeah. to the industry. What would be that? So are we saying that the money, the guys or the people with money mm -hmm. do not have enough education or we say, those who had enough education and training do not have the money. And then they go miles apart, miles apart. So, it, well, anyway, am I correct or whatever? Correct me if I'm wrong, though. I think this is a really interesting question because mm -hmm. in our opinion, maybe the people has money, mm -hmm. have money, they are like, they don't have 
a lot of education when they were young, mm -hmm. and then now they want to jump into the culture. They want to make movies, but they don't know what is interesting for people to You're see. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, on the other hand, there are some people with money and with education. Maybe they want to try some artist movie, artistical movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a lot of audience they are interested in it. Like my favorite producer Feng Li, who needs. Um, put his knees down to ask the audience, please see this artist movie because it's mm -hmm. a great movie. Yes, but yes, you're right. you cannot get a lot of distribution in China because mm -hmm. it's not a commercial movie. It's really hard, but I think people are changing. China is changing. We are trying to develop more interesting mm -hmm. stories and um, make more interesting content mm -hmm. to give it to you the Chinese right, audience. Right. But it takes time. We you're just right. need to wait. The subject goes bigger and the bigger and the bigger. Yeah. Now that in addition to put our young people into s the film academy, we would probably have to put our, our producers the ones who have money, or investors, into film academy to learn films. Okay, I'll give you a joke. Yeah. A long time ago, there was a joke about the, the old China, the old China before communists, the old China, uh, the governor of Shandong. His name was Han Fu mm -hmm. Uh He's kind of a knowing nothing guy, very, very kind of uh, uh, ignorant, ignorant guy. He was one time paying a visit to Nanjing University, and on the uh, on the uh, playground, he saw some students playing basketball. Ten, one, only one ball, right? Mm. He says, "Where did you spend all the budget?" To the principal. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, he got lost. What? Well, well, he didn't know where how to answer the question. He said, "Anything wrong? Mm -hmm. How come?" Right. Ten students, only one ball. Give them everybody, give them a one, let them play their own. That's <laughs> it. You see what I mean? Yeah. This relates to if the Han has the power, mm -hmm. we refer the power as money. Yeah. They have the money, right? They do not know how basketball are played. Exactly. All right? Give them everybody a ball, mm -hmm. let them play their own balls, or something yeah. like that. Okay. It is a joke, but it's a philosophy. Am I right? You are right. I mm. totally agree. But mm, I think there do have a lot of people trying to dig into movie because I think movie in China it's like kind of very high level thing. Not normal people can do that. All Only right. something like, mm -hmm. for example, director Zhang Yimou, they can do that. That those kind of directors. It so is not a one hundred percent money driven. No. Could be. Uh, well, uh, probably better saying would be that uh, it could not be taken as 100 money driven, yeah. right? Money could do something, mm -hmm. but, but, do it really. but do it properly. Exactly. Am I right? Okay, very good. Uh, today, with my much of my pleasure, I'm visited uh, by a uh, very promising young woman. She is a producer herself, and her credit is all we really piled up, right? Uh, comparing to her age, I believe that this is a, I see some uh, twilight about her future, and we need we need those kind of young people. We need those who understand film, not only film but also the society and that feels the burden. That kind of young people. So stay with us. When we come back, we'll continue finding her principle, and in her own statement, there is one time she mentioned that. Uh, I shall not change my initial set of mind and uh, only produce films that have some temperatures. That's quote unquote. When we come back, we'll ask her for them, please. Hello, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, my dear lovely audiences. Welcome back to the discussion about films. I'm a film lover, 
and uh, I go to uh, a film or uh, a movie at least once a week. Uh, well, uh, nowadays I'm getting more and more disappointed, and starting from the time of uh, what is that that films were lots of uh, uh, chrysanthemum, the yellow flowers. Yellow flowers. The American yellow flowers. Film? Yeah, chrysanthemum. One of Zhang Yimou's. 哦，菊菊花，满城满城都是黄金黄金甲那个啊，黄金甲那个。还有那个啥，呃 ，the the yellow flower， 啊、uh, ，namely、uh, chrysanthemum， lots of chrysanthemums around the city， something like that， right？ From that point on， I lost some confidence in seeing splendid super Hollywood films. Now with the、uh, with the with the hit of a great wall. Which made a、uh, box office record and broken the box office record. Good for that.、Uh, I really feel that we need to find more. With this young woman, a lovely, uh, uh, promising film producer, I see some twilight, and、uh, I share. I let her share her thoughts with our audiences. So. Uh, in one of her oh, she is with、uh, Halo, Halo Film Production, and that's her own.、Uh, that's your own company. Yeah,、right? I okay, started. Very good, very good. I like Halos. Yeah. Okay,、pretty. very good. Right. So, uh, yes, uh, in her one of her statements, she says that、uh, she shall not change her、uh, original set of mind. What do you mean by original set of mind? What is that? Because I first, when I first want to try to develop my career in film, it's because I saw a movie. It's called The Professional in、mm. China. It's more known as Leon. So it talks about a little girl has a not kind of relationship. Leon. Leon. It's a French movie. Ah,、uh, sure.、Yeah. Oh well, I haven't、uh, heard、yeah. about it. Go ahead. It's kind of like a killer has a journey with a little girl, and then finally this killer died. But the journey itself is really nice. I saw this movie a thousand times, and、mm -hmm. I think, oh, this is a really kind, really great movie. I want to make this kind of movie.、Mm -hmm. But when I saw some movies in China, not like specifically in China, but some bad、mm -hmm. movies are made, I feel really bad. I think art is really hard to achieve. If you want to make something using a lot of people's time, you don't you don't want to make something won't last forever. You want to do something can、Doesn't、last, last、okay. yeah, and can、mm -hmm. promote it to more、mm -hmm. audience and make the audience thinking about the world and share the filmmaker's thoughts. That's、mm -hmm. why I want to. I just started this company. I want to develop some own stories. And to share this experience、mm -hmm. with the audience, that's why I、uh, wanna remind myself: don't、uh, forget where I started,、mm -hmm. because in this industry there are a lot of things going on with money driven or a lot of other、mm -hmm. things. You are easy to change your way, but I don't wanna change my past. Just trying to do whatever I wanted to do at the beginning. Of、that's、course,、right. of course, I understand. Uh, well, I do not. Once again,、uh, I would like to、uh, make a declaration that、uh, I don't go against the film technology. Right? Of course, the more the better. Yeah. Provided the technology helps the story. Exactly.、Uh, I give you a good example: Titanic.、Mm -hmm. Right.、Uh, well, those splendid scenes did help the the theme.、Mm -hmm. Did help the story. The story has twists and turns itself, even though with、uh, only within the, within on board, the story has its own line. That's it. That the technology did help. James Cameron did the Cameron did did a good job in doing that. I prefer that kind of films. Me too. I agree. Like Jungle Book, it shoot here in downtown LA, just a green screen、mm -hmm. with one actor. Yeah, Everything yeah, yeah, yeah. is fake, but、mm -hmm. it looks real and let people know about the story. I think it's really important. And nothing about the technology、mm -hmm. is about how do you want to tell the story with a better technology.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Jungle Book is also my favorite,、yeah. and I used to watch along with my son, with my younger son, and it is.、Uh, I thought was、uh, in the beginning. I thought I was just doing him a favor, and、uh, yet I was doing myself a favor. I like it, like, <laughs>、uh, like that kind、yeah. of thing.、Uh, that's beautiful. 
yet there is uh, this young people uh, I really care about because uh, they represent the, a, a generation, a new merge of another generation, right? So speaking of your set of mind, when your set's talking about your set of mind, being your original set of mind, which is correct, which shall be the mind, do you think that your mind represents a majority of your generation? I shouldn't say majority, but I mean, the attitude I'm holding is a lot, there has a lot of similarity with a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I'm one of the Chinese audience. I'm also one of the filmmakers. The Chinese audience, we saw a lot of foreign films. We accept the foreign films from mm -hmm. Japan, mm -hmm. America, Thailand, Europe or something. Mm -hmm. We want to see our films can be a great film and enjoyable to watch. As a filmmaker, I also want to make some great movies on behalf of my country to show the culture of China mm -hmm. to the world of audience. I mean, Great Wall is a great example because it wants to show more Chinese culture to the audience, but maybe the strategy is a little bit not that easy to do. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I shouldn't say it's a failure, but it's not a great example of the US-China co-production. Mm, I think we still need some I agree, process. I agree, I agree. Yeah, just trying and, uh, to mm -hmm. think more about how to make okay, the co-production okay. works. Also, promote our culture. Sure, sure. And still stick to the uh, original set of mind, though. I know that a, amongst every group of people is the elite. In other words, only the few makes the difference. You don't have to be the majority. Exactly. As long as you stand up strong, as long as you make your own, and you will make a point, right? Sooner yeah. or later. Now, uh, look at, I don't know, uh, I happen to forget the name, uh, Lang Qiao Yimeng. What is the uh, Chinese uh, English name? Lang Qiao Yimeng. The, the, the bridge? The, the, the what is that? Yeah. Bridge. Oh, okay, anyway. Anyway, forget that. And, and I, I want to say there are all kinds of films. The setting are too simple, but the story are huge. Yes. The story are huge. And that story lasts for many, many yes. times, right? Okay, now, you and I, we discussed this much, right? If you would probably, would be better if you create a filmmaker story, mm -hmm. right? From a screenwriting point of view, trying to get money, in the money-driven market, right, and how he finds his way to success, yes. that's probably good. Could be a good story. Oh, uh, really? You mm -hmm. think so? Cause, um, could be a very good story. Yeah, the studio yes. developed the story. It called something like the the uh, the Devil Wears Prada, but mm -hmm. it talks about maybe a Chinese filmmaker. She comes to Hollywood. She wants to survive mm -hmm. in the studio system. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of kind of like a professional female driven story but it talks about Chinese they work in Hollywood to make a success. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little bit similar with what you are talking ah, about. Very but good, very good. Yeah. Maybe, may, it might be that way but uh, I have a different takes. That's probably another uh, uh, difference between you and me. Yeah. I can sense that uh, now you position yourself as a Chinese filmmaker mm -hmm not totally merged into United States yet. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, and you're thinking you represent uh, all China, China, China. Okay. Now, you look around you, the world is not divided into a way U.S., China, mm -hmm. flip flop that way. Yeah. People are mixed. People are mixed. That's why we call party a mixer because the party mixed people. Mm -hmm. In everyday life, people mix, right? So when people are together, all together, there is no line of China, US, US, China. There's no such. Exactly. For those who hold their dream to land on this land, say, I want to make a difference in Hollywood, that's to totally too much ambiguous, mm -hmm. right? So it's not true not realistic. Yeah. Right. Number one, they have to copy to learn 
what's strong about Hollywood, and number two, if they would carry uh, carry those messages along, when they would deliver their message to their fellow filmmakers in Hollywood, mm -hmm. that's a combination. That's the co-production. Now my question is to find a definition from you mm -hmm. about U.S.-China co-production, please. The definition of U.S. and China co-production for me is mm -hmm. like a communication of culture. Because mm -hmm. I think China, why they want to come to Hollywood is because they want to learn the the style of how Hollywood doing things. And mm -hmm. Hollywood, why they need China, maybe they need the money, they need the audience, they need the market, whatever. Mm -hmm. There are some is it benefits between each other. Mm -hmm. Of course, film is established by benefits, but more important thing is the world is opening right now, and mm -hmm. the people in this world, they want to know another culture from another country. That's mm -hmm. why I think it's essential for US-China co-production exist. Mm -hmm. It's because Americans, they ask me a lot of questions, a lot of my American friends, they don't know about the real China, and China also don't they, they don't know the real America, so I think this mm. co-production format is mm. a way to communicate. You want to know my this. definition? Yeah, of course. My definition of co-production is a marriage. A marriage? A marriage. Mm -hmm. U.S.-China film marriage. Not only film uh, itself, it starts from the screenwriting at that point on. Everything is marriage, right? So. Yeah. Like husband and wife, when you when you cha exchange rings, you got married. Everything is uh, common. Mm -hmm. Everything is community, right? Yeah. Money, house, everything. That's uh, was well, is ours, not yours, mine. No, must think in the way of ours. And this thinking shall have to change, starting from a screenwriting point. You have to write the marriage stories, right? So the. The, the kind of like, or with a set of mind, uh, landed here, want to embrace Hollywood or vice versa. No, that's not the uh, co-production. All right, my dear audience, is today with a young producer, young filmmaker, I'm having a good time uh, for listening to her point of views, uh, both differences and common grounds. Uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm kind of like, a, richer in uh, one step richer in this concept so uh, stay with us when we come back together uh, we'll also we need to check with her and about her statement and also and there is uh, some other films that I pick up to discuss with which are her films stay with us please <laughs> Hello, my dear folks. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow on the East West with lots of pride. Today, we're talking about films, and with me is my good friend, young friend, a beautiful young woman, Olina Wang. She is a producer. She is founder and CEO of Halo Film Production. And uh, well, to my surprise, I found the lots of uh, I found more common ground than differences in between me and her look at the faces all right does it say something okay very good now uh back to the point right point being that on in one another statement of yours you say that you only tell stories that can be told so what do you mean by you only tell stories that can be told actually it, there's a story behind it i mm -hmm. went to interview for a company it's a small company doing co-productions by some studio executives. They want to mm. find stories in China, but they only, f uh, so I asked them a question, what mm. kind of stories are you looking for? What kind of genres are you interested in? So they were saying, oh, I'm in only interested in commercial success films on mm. box office. Mm. I don't care about the stories of your neighbor, of your grandmother, mm. unless your grandmother is somebody. But I think a little bit hurt for me, it's because everybody has their own story need to be told. 
the way mm. we are doing this is we only need to find a way to tell the story. Mm. So I don't think there's a only success commercial success story mm. or there's a not commercial success movie. Just like Moonlight, nobody knows mm. it will win Oscars this year, but it did. So the whole point mm. is about how the story touch you. Okay. So we just need to dig deep to find where is the inter yeah, very good, interesting very good, part uh, of the story. Very well displayed point. I believe that you are telling the same thing that I would like to tell. I remember once uh, I had a conversation with a uh, wonderful guy. He's uh, from Long Tail of Hollywood. Name is uh, Omar Cashmichak. And he says the other day, he says, what is film, right? Film is story. What is filmmaker? Film, filmmaker, storyteller, right? Uh, you want to tell a story. And he says, so it could be all kind of story. Could be your grandma's story. Could be your kid's story. As long as they are a story kind of a story. Exactly. Right? You're not talking about a successfully, uh, uh, I mean, commercially successful story. There's no such story line, story yeah. groups, right? Okay. And even people are successful within the uh, commercial circle, they have their life stories. Yes. Right? Otherwise, you're talking about stock, stock market. Okay, now, even if you write a film about stock market, you write about people who are stock exchangers, right? It's and they have life stories. Mm -hmm. So it is story versus life, life versus story. That's the basic bond. Exactly. Right. So you didn't you turn them down? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I remember I have a teacher. She told me at the beginning nobody want to see me become a filmmaker because uh -huh. it's so rare okay. in China. So mm -hmm. they say you can become the director of your life. I think that's a very great sentence to describe mm -hmm. what I'm doing right now. Is mm -hmm. um, everybody wants to be something or somebody in their life. Mm -hmm. Everybody has interesting things they need to be told. So I think I have the responsible to find those kind of aspect mm -hmm. to give them a common sense or common feeling related mm -hmm. to the films. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh -huh. we need the stories be grounded to mm -hmm. let people feel themselves in it. Like the commercial films, I don't think people have some relations. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. not related. Very good, very good point. And I'm so glad that this is the, there, this is another uh, common ground that I found between I and her. And the last question or last group of questions regarding to one of your major involvement in the film, uh, I pick one, only one, uh, the boy cut of chicken soup. I wonder if the translation is right. Oh. I translate into the boy cut of chicken soup. What is that, please? Oh, it's um very common sense in China right now because there are a lot of you know WeChat. WeChat mm. has a lot of groups. Oh, they okay. post all kinds of articles online. Mm. They're trying to give you some energy to live yeah, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. pressure, oh, oh. in the mess, in the mm. air pollution or something. Mm. So for example, there's a sentence like if you keep doing it, you can finally success. But mm. in life I don't know if that is a truth to be told. That's mm. why we want to make this kind of show. It's like, for example, if you keep doing, maybe you cannot succeed mm. in this world, mm. but you should keep doing it because there's something you're going to mm. achieve someday. Maybe it's not succeed, maybe not a lot, a lot of money, but you can get yourself very satisfied with yourself. That's are you enough. supportive to the chicken soup? Or are you uh, kind of uh, opposing the chicken soup? I don't believe the chicken soup, actually. You don't believe the I chicken soup? I don't believe soup, the chicken okay. soup. I just mm. believe myself. I just believe mm. we can, everybody can do something. But mm. if you only listen to the chicken soup, you only drink it, mm. it doesn't help you. You just need to do, you need to try to practice, and then yeah. you can okay. achieve. <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, the same philosophy applies not only in theory, but in actual life. If you live on chicken soups, you're still gonna die yeah. of hunger because yeah. chicken soups just doesn't doesn't get you the food. Right? Exactly. It's the food we're talking about. Anyway, uh, there is another one. Uh, let's see. 
uh, the Los Angeles prison. Yeah, that's what an is interesting that, one. Hmm? So we de developed the story because there's nothing, no story like this on the internet. Right it's now. a fiction? It's a fiction. It's a fiction, so okay. So it talks about a Chinese girl want to find her boyfriend in Los Angeles, went to a school. So she didn't know a lot of English, but she's, she's really kind hearted. And uh, this is her first time to come to America. So in the airport, she had the disabled girl to carry her back. But in this bag, there are a lot of drugs. So this Chinese girl is put in prison. So she mm. has to live with the other prisoners in this prison and mm. trying to she win in, her. Okay. Yeah. okay, she's incarcerated. And then what's the end of it? Actually, there are several seasons. But uh, at the end of the first season, she win this game in this prison, she mm. kind of find her own position in this mm. prison, mm. trying to be saved by another people to get mm. out of this prison. Mm, I see. What do you want to tell? I mean, feel the theme wise, what does you want to tell? Is it you, you, uh, it is you who write this, who, who, wrote, who wrote this? Oh, actually, that's, uh, that's my writer and mo my co-partner, we develop it. Mm -hmm. I saw the story she wants to tell because she's a journalist. Mm -hmm. She interviewed a lot of people mm -hmm. like Chinese here mm -hmm. about their life. So she said, oh, this is an interesting concept. We should make this. I see, I yeah. see. So what's your theme? You want to reflect the, uh, the jail crowdedness or overcrowded situation? Or you want to uh, uh, expose the dark side of a jail operation? Or you want to tell a zigzagging uh, lifetime life story of this woman? What do you want to tell? So what's the theme? Actually, first of all, I want to give a brief, brief introduction of the jail in America because we never mm. see any like Chinese people they go to American prison. Mm. Maybe that's an interesting thing to okay. explore. Okay. The all other right. side is there are a lot of Chinese people they come to America, but some of them they maybe not know, don't really know about the legal aspect of mm. America. So trying to tell people what you can do, what you cannot do. Okay. The other thing is mm. I want to explore the life of Chinese people here. Like, for example, it's not only about the prison, it's about the whole America. Mm. How do Chinese as a majority, like minority of people, they live in America? What kind of things they're going mm. to face? Mm. What kind of difficulties? We just put set up the story in a jail, but it's not only about the jail; it's about mm. the whole society. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. All right. Is it going to be English subtitles, subtitles, or Chinese subtitles? I think most of the language is going to be English, so both subtitles, bilingual subtitles. I see. But I, I see the market is in China. I think the market is in China. Okay, yeah. very good. Have you ever thought anywhere? Uh, let me ask you this way: a Mixed story for mixed audiences, for a mixed market. Have you thought anything about that? I used to. With I no identity at all. As, hu as long as, uh, okay, now, it is a human who writes human story mm -hmm. about a human and shoot it in a human way and for the human audiences. Mm -hmm. How about that? No races, no, no line, no nothing, mm -hmm. just the people. I totally agree. I wanted to that kind to do uh -huh. that kind of movie. No religions, no races, no country, mm -hmm. because it's art. It's common sense. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I was trained in producing program. It's like you need to have a target audience. I don't want to. I used to mix my target audience because I want to get both of the market. But I think mm -hmm. it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to do it because there's something you cannot. Satisfied know, with know, by yeah, both yeah. countries. Something yeah. satisfied somebody, right? Yes. Okay, now, in your case, the reason I'm asking is that in your prison case, I see there are elements that, who, that are interested to, interesting to Chinese and yeah. vice versa. Yeah. So that is why it could be a very universal story. Exactly. Right? Could be. Yeah. You only pick up the subject to pick up the right moment with the right story to tell the human story to yes. for human audiences. Right? Yes. Very that's, good. That's what I okay, want to do. Okay, good. I give you two advices. Number one is the one that I gave you earlier uh, to write about a starting from a screenwriting point of view. Yeah. Right. That story on your film, and this one could be could be uh, for human 
for yes. everybody, right? Thank okay. You. Uh, we're over time already. Uh, my dear audience, uh, thank you for watching today. I have this opportunity being visited by a wonderful young woman, a wonderful producer. She is the founder and CEO of Halo Film. And I wish her great success. By the time we're doing next show probably with her, she will bring one more credit or two more credit or everything on the already, already mm, lot, a lot of the uh, credentials. So uh, we'll see you next time. And to you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.